Welcome back to Up Close with QP. Now, we've noticed a bit of a trend with Blanc Pan in recent years. They do one watch every year, which is an absolute knockout, and it's usually in the 50 Fathoms collection. 2018 was no different, and we've got here the 50 Fathoms Batiscaf 70s Day Date. Now, that name tells you a lot about the watch. It's quite a clunky name, but you've got a wonderful, wonderful piece here. It's got a cool 70s dial. It's got amazing sort of range of colour and tone and texture there going on. It's one of the most interesting watches we've seen from Blancpain in a little while. So it's a limited run of 500 pieces based on a piece which is even more sort of out there than this. It's actually the original, we should have a picture of it here, but uh, it's a little bit more wild. However, you can see that they've kept a lot of the dial detail, these uh, square cutout hour markers with the Arabic numerals inside them have, have made it directly onto this watch, uh, as has the sort of red accents, so they're not quite so vigorously. Here we've got the standard pipette hands of the 50 Fathoms Bathyscaf range, which look as though they're um, illuminated all day round. I must say, it's got one of the most sort of brightest looms of a watch that I can remember trying out. What you'd expect, of course, from a 300 meter dive watch. Um, what you also, what you might not expect from a 300 meter dive watch is a day and date, but you've got them. It's, you know, something we quibble over as watch purists, but they sell they're useful, so we can't complain too much about that. Um, ceramic bezel insert here, pretty shiny, picking up a lot of reflections, but beautiful, beautifully smooth to touch. You just get the raised um, liquid metal indexes here, quite nice. It's got an amazing click, you can hear that. Always look for that in a dive watch, it feels really solid, really well built, and the same could go for the case. I love these lines, I love the brushed steel uh, it's really angular, really sharply faceted here. Um, definitely feels like a quality product. The case back won't look quite like this. This is a prototype where you'd expect to have some blanc pan lettering around the edge there. I actually kind of like it how it is, kind of like they'd sell that, but of course they won't. Um, you can obviously see through here as well the caliber. It's blanc pan's in house caliber 1315 from 2007. It's just an in house automatic with five day power reserve and silicon balance spring. Otherwise, there's not an awful lot to tell you about the watch. It wears really nicely, in my opinion. I've got a cool sort of distressed leather strap here. It also comes on rubber or steel. It's just, it's really comfortable. It's 43 millimeters, and I think that's a really good size just for daily wear. Um, sort of just doesn't quite go under a shirt cuff, but you know, it's not that kind of watch. Honestly, I'm finding this watch a complete hit. Unfortunately, I think there's, uh, there's only one fly in the ointment, which is the price. Blanc Pan will take 9,200 of your pounds for this watch, which I feel is a little bit steep. There's a lot of watches out there for that money, and it would be, you know, remiss of me to say you couldn't go elsewhere and get something also pretty fantastic. However, like we said at the start, Blanc Pan have done one hit watch a year, more or less, and this is it. It's going to sell out, no trouble whatsoever. Those 500 pieces are going to be gone. So um, get your hands on one if you can.